Leo, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This um, is not a horoscope. It is an energy reading. So this is for Leo, sun, moon, rising, or wherever Leo energy influences your natal chart or influences your life. So this could be for a Leo that you know. Um, I'm going to pick up on those general energies here in the oracle card reading. I don't date any of the put dates on any of the uh, videos but I do do a Leo reading every single week so if you want it fresh off the press please click subscribe help the channel grow and ring that bell so you can get notifications when I upload all the content you're looking for there's always an extended reading and that link is in the description box below um, it broadens expands and kind of goes into specifics uh, and personalizes this energy reading it's a full tarot card spread and then you'll also get your romance reading as well so leo let's get into the energies Ooh, leo all i know is i'm feeling hot but i digress maybe Leo, Leo, ah, there you go, baby. Turn knowledge into wisdom. Six plus seven. The energy of 13 plus uh, one plus three is four. So grounded in your connection to your psychic powers or the psychic world or the world that is unseen. What a wonder, what a, what an interesting, um, what an interesting, um, energy to be grounded by but this this is your crowning energy so essentially leo you've been picking up on or feeling something is about to happen something that you can't see and something that you can't prove but it is definitely something that you are absolutely certain of um now it could be based on your experiences and your you know um so in other words more than your perceptions uh things that you've seen patterns that you've picked up on things that you've seen happen before but ultimately it comes down to being connected to the psyche and being connected to the planet and having some insight that something is on its way or coming even though you can't really like even though you can't really put your finger on it or there's not really much data to support it this is a sense of tapping into your psychic powers feeling like something is going to happen feeling like something's on its way um not just feeling though being really certain of it maybe also being doubted by others this could be this is like the moon energy think of the moon card uh representing pisces in the tarot um but this is really having to trust your instincts and really walk through the night but when you have this energy, Leo, this is an interesting energy for you. This is very feminine energy for a sign that's ruled by the sun. So this is your divine feminine energy. And then there would be, and you would be the divine masculine because this is the moon and then you would be the sun. So this is really interesting as well. It could very well be that you are thinking of a divine feminine, that you are thinking of um, or needing calling into your being a divine feminine. Um, um, I just, I just feel you feeling something, but not really. This is really interesting as a crowning energy. Every time I see this card, I think of the Phil Collins song. I can feel it coming in the air at night. I've been waiting for this moment for all my life. Hold on, hold on. I don't know if you're dealing with a Piscean. But something something that you've been waiting on for a while is 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 about to come to fruition. Whew. Interesting. Oh, darn. Eight. The energy of this is mystery. Uh, could be magical, but it's definitely that shamanic. It, it, this is it's the shamanic energy of entering into a world that is mystical. 
a shaman puts on their mask at, to become something that can walk in the spirit realm. This is something that is yet unseen, something that is yet unknown, something that is still mysterious or shrouded in mystery, something that has not been revealed yet. And then you have the moon card, which says that you can sense it. Look at the dog and the cat. You can sense it coming but you can't really put your finger on it. This, I don't know if it's bothering you. What do you have insight into? Ooh, oh, time to heal. This is Kundalini energy. So something has been stirring, grabbing at your guts, coiling, wrapping around you. You can almost feel it when you sit down. Um, something that you need, this is primal instinct taking over you i mean to be blunt with you it could just bottom line mean you've been really horny uh you know what i'm saying like like that's how that's how you've been feeling like you've been feeling something coil you've been wanting to fuck a lot like there's a sense of huge sexual energy coming out here because you want to get it out you want to use it because as it coils it kind of twists your guts it's a huge amount of energy and if it stays inside of you it will poison you so there's a necessity here to push it out and get it out there's a sensuality here but it's interesting because this energy implies that you just don't know yet which direction to aim it at or you it's still pent up and causing you a great deal of disturbance what are you dealing with darn pig energy use your mind wisely oh awakening wow darn leo you are you are really starting to feel your oats and recognize everything that you are capable of and this is interesting for you because this is your id speaking this is not your son this is not the ego that you rule this is your id. This is your primal energy. Primally, what it is. This is you having circumvented your ego. And now you're getting into your primal. You're instinctual. Or you're a divine masculine that's just meeting their divine feminine. Now, I don't use those words often. It's because I stay away from them. But I got to say what I see. And what I see is this need. This need to procreate. This urge to purge. <laughs> It, you could be feeling that a lot inside of you because you're pent up almost like getting it's almost like making you like a wild beast and it's your brain that has to come in and start defending your own sense of self and remind you who you are but this is also the energy of something that you never thought could happen is happening you have you are i'm telling you right now you are privy to some some stuff that the rest of us don't know or understand because there is a sense here leo that you know something is coming you have intel intel when pigs fly this is what this is my when pigs fly card okay so this is and it's the energy of awakening four plus seven equals eleven that's the energy of awakening you are awakening to these sensations, colors, feelings that you never understood or knew before. You are really at like, like tuning in and plugging into your psychic ability. You have been having dreams. I know you've been having dreams. A lot of us have been having dreams. Dreams have been really heavy lately. This might be something that is new for you, but what are your dreams teaching you? How are they broadening? How are they expanding you? How are they influencing you? And how do you feel when you wake up in the morning? This is using your mind wisely too. This is using your mind wisely in the dream realm to get to the bottom of this tension. To help heal something that is mysterious that you don't really understand completely. This is your psyche speaking to you and trying to tell you something. Whoa, I've never gotten this. Be at home. What an interesting energy to have as your central energy. 6 plus 8 equals 14 and 1 plus 4 adds up to 5. A sense of the home space this is heart chakra space this is heart chakra but green the green being at home who you are now the heart chakra is you you rule the heart leo rules the heart right the courage the intensity the knowing oneself this is grounding you or the fact that you know yourself is what's grounding you 
Because you'd be like freaking out. This is almost like psychedelic trip time up in here, Leo. This is all trippy. This would be tripping you out if you didn't know yourself so well. It's like traveling to other realms from your home or opening up your heart. Opening up your heart space to um, something, something, this other, this other energy that's coming from you. Or somebody that is inspiring your heart chakra. There is a change here. Maybe a change in lovers, a change in the way that you feel, a change in the way that you express yourself, but it's not a bad change. This is a very sensual change. This honestly, this is, this is really interesting that this reading is coming up for you because this is the most psychically based Neptunian reading I've ever had. And trying to figure out I know the sun is still in Aries wasp spirit sometimes life stings the energy of six plus four this is something that's bothering you this is scorpionic energy something that stings you but it spurs you into action think the gadfly you could be called into action you could be called into service you could be called to go fight something that is hurting other people. You could be called to battle. You could be called to war. This is this is a sense of maybe you being the gadfly to annoy and irritate and notify the world or tell the world. Or when I say the world, it could just be your family. There could be a great deal of irritation. I'm telling you, there's a lot of frustration. It almost feels like needles under your skin. Something on the internet, could be something on the internet too, because this is the World Wide Web, trying to catch this wasp in the web or keeping, protecting and defending the people you care about from these irritants or these infections or poisons that are trying to surround it. This is being spurred into action. Energy of six plus four, four is 10, which is completion. Not just completion though, fulfillment. Know your worth, five plus four, something's coming out. So the truth, this is truth coming out. Something that was hidden, something, something that, that you didn't realize. A skunk posing as a flower, a real stinker is coming out and being revealed. Something that irritates you or bothers you, an irritant or a poison or a danger. Or somebody who was buzzing around you, buzzing about you, causing you, trying to cause you harm, is being revealed. Or there is a buzz about you. Somebody is talking junk about you. Maybe they're trying to come off smelling like a rose. Or you're just like, hey, this is me. I know you're trying to make me look like I'm something, but I know who I am. And then last but not least, a very defensive, more another nine. More something is coming to a head. Something is ending. Mama bear energy, somebody ripping and tearing and clawing to defend their home space and their heart chakra. This is, this may be somebody who, this may be, it's like a dog at a dark park that isn't neutered and somebody trying to defend themselves. Get away from me, get away from me, get away from me. But, you, but, but it, the other one keeps on coming after them. Like, no, I need this. This is primal. I need you. I need you, baby. This primal energy, I know what I want. I got you in my sights with these hungry eyes. That's the kind of energy. And the other person's like, better back up. We're going to fight. We're going to fight, not. Very defensive energy. But this is all happening in the spiritual realm. Maybe somebody blocking you. Clock blocking you. Um, and you feel it's got something to do with something other than just 
than being irritated or agitated. No, but there's not, oh, I'm going to get your grounding energy. Oh, I can't wait to go into tarot because there's a lot of mystery underneath uh, right here. There's a ton of mystery. You can feel something coming. I keep feeling, hearing that, that song by Phil Collins. I can feel it coming in the air at night. Hold on. It's like brace yourself because you know it's coming. But what is it? Ooh. This is Sagittarius energy. Think on your feet. Be spontaneous. Be, um, uh, like, go with the flow and go with the chaos. The miracles are endless. Cow spirit, but it's in reverse. This is still a very fortunate energy. It's still a very abundant energy, but it's like, fill me up. I want you to fill me up. This And this is your grounding energy. Like a cup of love or an ace of cups being handed to you. There's just an abundance of either sex or sexual tension in your life right now. Spirit has a plan. Three plus five. This is Buddha. That my Buddha energy. Buddha is seeing something for the real, for real, for the first time. Is noticing it, seeing it. It's, it's, it's literally like you entered into a whole new freaking world. It's like all you Leos are taking psychedelics or something. Or just something just bam, it hit and struck and you're realizing it. And it's like spirit is talking through you. This is eight, the energy of eight. This is destiny. This is a destined opportunity or chance. You may be getting pregnant too. Because this is some serious sexual energy. This is that primal energy that happens when you are with somebody that you were supposed to be making babies with. And then the energy of two plus seven is nine again. Think on your feet. This is Sagittarius energy. Going with the chaos. Going with the fire. Letting it burn. Not being scared. Just walking right into it. But this is your grounding energy. Hold up, Leo. I'm about to turn the camera around so that you can see the cards. We'll review everything. Let me put these cards upright. Hold on. So, here is your innocent looking reading that is not so innocent, Leah. Because we start out in the psychic realms. We start out in the Neptunian realm of nighttime. Of fears and dreams and nightmares and ghosts and shadows. Or the impossible becoming the possible. The the not impossible, the infinite, the dark, the divine feminine, which is your id, your base primal self. Then this is your, this is your ego. This is your heart chakra. This is your sensual self. Those things that you know you love and are important to you. I swear to God, it's almost like somebody is just, you, you know, there, you know this is your destiny. You know this is this is meant to be. This was divine timing coming in here, setting you up. You got them in your sights. This is you taking what you want. But there, you can't really see it yet. There could be a poison or an energy that you can't see yet. You're trying to figure it out. You're trying to understand it. It's irritating you. It's getting to you. It's 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 driving you nuts but you can't put your finger on it. There's been a little bit of a reveal, a little bit of hints, a few hints in your life that are making you very defensive or somebody is being very defensive. Their answers to you could be irritating the crap out of you because you know they want you to. You're not really sure what this game is they're playing. But you are definitely privy to an understanding of what the truth is that other people have not yet tapped into. You could be dealing with a Scorpio too. 
Oh, I can't wait to get into the juiciness. I'm diving into this right here. Oh, come on over with me. We're going to go to the extended. And here is also going to be, um, I'm sorry, your romance reading as well. That link is below because I know you want to know, Leo. I'm nosy too. I will see you guys over there.